Hi, I'm joined by the next style challenger, the ever dapper Mr. Terry Donovan. Hello, Terry. How's it going? Not too bad, thank you. Terry is the founder of the Sartorial 7, and we were just having a bit of a chinwag, actually, about uh, Terry's grooming regime, because you're admiring your <laughs> marvellous hair. <laughs> Yes, um, so they've just gone over my beautiful hair and how I get my nice sharp line, as you can see. Um, it's something that not comes easy, it's something where I get my hair cut um, to the Practice same. Practice makes perfect. Practice makes perfect, it certainly does. But I also go at the same barber every single time I get my hair cut. And I've, it took me about two or three years to find out who that guy was and he knows my hair. I go there every two weeks, he cuts it for me. I don't need to ask how he does it, but he just does it, he does it perfectly. Um, and then we're just styling it. I think it just comes in time of sort of coming it forward, finding the line and then just taking it right over. Um, but I use black and white. Black and white. Yeah, from Boots. <clears throat> Classic products there. Um, yeah, I think it's, it's so funny, isn't it, trying to find a barber that suits you. I went through so many and they cut it weird or at a funny angle or make you look like I've got a really long head. So when you find the guy, you have to cling on to them, don't you? Well, it, like... it is important to cling on to them because they're not, they're not just someone who who cuts your hair, there's someone who knows you, there's someone who finds mm. out what your personality is. And it's also important um, to go into the barber in what you wear for your day to day. There's no point rolling up on a Saturday afternoon in your in your, in your track suit, in your cap. Because your they, velvet slipper and pipe. Exactly, because they don't know who you are. They don't know what you want to look like, so they don't know how your hair should look like. So if you go to the barber and how you dress in your day to day life, like I dress like this yeah, probably five days, nearly six days out of seven, so I'll tend to get my hair cut in the morning before I go to work. So it also gets me ready for work as well, it makes me feel sharp. Um, so then they know how they should be styling the hair to how it was beforehand as well. Okay, so um, as I mentioned, you're the founder of Sartorial 7. Can you talk us a bit about what you do with Sartorial 7 and what else you do? Um, so with the Sartorial 7, um, it's a style collective of seven men, but it's never the same seven men. Um, it tends to change quite a lot. It's an ever-changing collective of seven men who talk about style, who talk about fashion, menswear, within the industry. Um, the men that are involved with it don't work within the same places. So for instance, I work in PR predominantly. We've got a photographer, we've got a designer, we've had buyers, people that come in and out so then they give their own opinion of what they think style and fashion is. And a different creative angle I imagine as well. It, it definitely does, yeah, yeah. It doesn't just sort of, everything that we do, we, we, we put a positive spin on everything because we want to work with that brand or that company because we believe in them. Um, it first come about um, about six or seven months ago when I seen, I read um, a blog article um, talking about a certain brand that I feel quite heavily about and I really like them and they completely slated that brand and they didn't say anything constructive about them right. and I thought right well the internet can sometimes give people a voice that sometimes don't deserve a voice and I'm a believer of if I don't like something don't speak don't speak yeah yeah, yeah. nothing nice to say, say don't, don't say, say anything, anything at all is what my dad used to say to me oh, I was going gnarly at my sister exactly and it, if you've not got anything nice to say Talk about a positive, positive thing. Positive. There's plenty of good stuff out there, I think, to talk about positives. You, know? you can be constructive about it. Right, I don't like this brand because of X, Y, and Z, but I believe it could be better for these reasons. And here's how you do it, yeah. Yeah, and that's what I believe. And I think that comes with knowledge of working within the industry and working within different parts of style. And I think bringing seven different men together, working on the shop floor, working as a stylist, working even in the stock room, or working on the internet, e-commerce, a blogger, an editor, a photographer, they bring different things to it. And Such different a diversity things. of experience, isn't it? Exactly, and that's a, I think that's the successful part of it. And also that we're real people. We're not trying to be models. We're, we're not the most beautiful men in the world, but our intelligence from working within the industry speaks for itself. Mm. And um, just on your personal style now, do you, can you tell us a little bit about what some of your inspirations are? What What's inspired you to dress and develop this look that you've got? Mm -hmm. I think with my own personal style, it is uh, definitely to do with how it makes me feel in the morning. So if I put on a shirt and a tie and a well-fitted suit, then it makes me feel well and fitted for the, for the day ahead. I feel sharp, I feel on the ball, and I feel like I can take anything on when I feel like this. Um, my inspiration comes from friends, it comes from who my friends are, um, and taking 
different style pieces of I think one of my friends looks off. I like the way he dresses. I'll take it myself and do it in my own little way. Just on the street, street style websites, I think are amazing for getting your own style inspiration. And more than ever now, especially within um, menswear as it is, you can go in there and you can find out what you want because it's a lot more accessible. What sort of sites do you like checking out for street style? Um, I sound biased, but Garçon John, I think it's brilliant. <laughs> um, he photographs some amazing people. Um, I also think... Just for the viewers, Garçon John from the Sartorial 7, that's why he sounds biased. <laughs> He's also going to be one of the style challenges a little later on. Um, I also think Fashion Beans have a great uh, street style section because they use images from all different street style websites. So they bring them under one roof, which is really great. And the Satari list, which I imagine everyone knows about, but he sort of waits and picks his moments at the right time. Um, but I take a lot of influence, I would like to hope, from Italian menswear and how they dress um, and the confidence they ooze. Um, I like to have my own sort of British stamp on things, of being very British and menswear, but I think the Italians have a sort of a nice attitude. It's Je ne sais quoi. The, Yes. <laughs> um, it, it's also important that you can have really nice clothes, you can have well-fitted clothes and you can have a thousand pound shoes on and a two thousand pound suit, but if you haven't got an attitude for the suit, if you haven't got an attitude for what you wear, then it can also not really look good either. Mm, you have to wear your clothes, don't let them wear you, right? Exactly. I think best piece of advice I was reading, I think it was from the Heidi Ames ABC, was, I know what you're going to say, I love this quote, go on. I'm going to get it wrong though, I know I'm definitely going to get it wrong. Um, I think it was, um, don't let your clothes, oh, you know it. No, it might be a different one. Right, but the one, but the one that I, I need to remember this, let me see if I can get it. Right, I'm testing me now, I wish I never even said it. But was, <laughs> you can put your clothes on like you've spent all the time thinking about it, but wear them like you're not thinking about them. Yeah, yeah, that was it, yeah, just like that, yeah. Something like that. Anyway. No, it was, yeah, pick your clothes with care, put them on with thought, and then look like you've forgotten all about them, or something to that effect, wasn't it? And that's why you do your job. <laughs>